Hello students, in this video we're going to prove that y equals sine of x is a differentiable function at any point. Let's show that f of x, which is sine of x, is differentiable at any point x equals c. So what we'll do is we're going to show that the difference quotient of this function exists. So I need to show, we need to show, that the limit as h goes to zero of f of c plus h minus f of c divided by h exists. And this is one of our alternate criterion for the difference quotient existing. I can either have this version of the difference quotient, or I can let x go to c of x, f of x minus f of c over x minus c. They're equivalent to each other because as you're approaching c, h is approaching zero. All right, good. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in signs. So what I have here is I have the limit as h goes to zero, of the sine of c plus h minus the sine of c all divided by h. Now I can use the angle addition formula for sine. This is the limit as h goes to zero of the sine of c times the cosine of h, and then plus the sine of h, sine of h, cosine of c minus the sine of c. all divided by h. So I'm gonna break this limit into two parts. The first part I'm gonna break it into is the following. This is gonna be cosine of c, that's just a constant, times the limit as h goes to zero of sine of h over h. That comes from this term over here. And then the other terms have a common factor of sine of c, so then we have a plus sine of c, times the limit as h goes to zero of cosine of h minus one over h. Now we've seen in a previous video that this limit over here tends to one, so this is gonna be a cosine of c, that limit exists and tends to one from a previous video. And then this limit over here from the same exact video shows what? Show that that limit tends to zero, right? So that tends to zero, so I have sine of c, cosine of c plus sine of c times zero, and so we just get a cosine of c, and therefore we've proven our standard results. Namely, we've shown that the derivative of the function sine, so if f of x is sine of x, this implies that f prime of x is what? Is the cosine, is cosine of x. And we have our differentiation rule for sine. We can use this differentiation rule for sine to prove all the other derivative formulas for the trigonometric functions. Thank you very much.